Okay, let's take a look at another type of gun. This one is an air gun. We've been making these and having fun with them for, I don't know, 10 years now. So let's take a look at this one. We're, uh, we put these things together, oh, maybe once a year, and they don't last forever. They do have a lifespan, so they kind of fall apart with uh, a lot of heavy use, but thought we might show you one. Uh, we're going to be building one. We're actually in the process of building one now, and we'll be posting those videos on our gear channel. So let's take a look. It's uh, pretty big, I guess. Coming in at about 43 inches long. Uh, we don't really measure anything. When we put them together, we just use whatever scrap. Well, when we started building them, we used whatever scrap we had, and then later we build them about the size of a rifle, just so that they're large enough to hold enough air and to hold enough water, usually. So let's take a look at some of the guts. We've got the uh, valve, which is the heart of the machine, or the heart of the gun here. The bottom big tube holds air, and we don't use any kind of combustion on these because obviously that would could be considered a firearm depending on where you live. So these are just a tube that holds compressed air. On this one we're using a quick detach air compressor uh, nozzle. And then we've got just a hundred pound uh, gauge on this one. We were using this one with the kids and we didn't want them going over. Usually these bottom, these larger tubes are like 200 PSI. These little tubes can be bigger like 400 PSI or pounds per square inch. But like I said, we put a 100 pound gauge on this one. Uh, we were using it with a little 12 volt, uh, kind of an emergency flat tire type of roadside air pump. And it doesn't take too long to fill up. And it's still a lot of fun for the kids without being too powerful. So that's the that's where its energy comes from, is the compressed air here. This is really just a irrigation valve uh, that you would use like in the garden. You're more used to seeing them like this sticking up out of the ground. We take the lines, which would normally run to a 12 volt electric system, and we run them through some copper tubing here into this little cross member, and really nothing going on in there except the wires come out and hit this switch. And then we've got another piece of copper tubing copper tubing coming up and going forward to this second little buff uh, divider area here and this is where we're running a couple of batteries so let's take a look inside we've just got this little split ring which I just took a little bit out of the top there so that it can fit in there with a little bit of compression easy to remove though and then we've got two 9 volt batteries in here and the tapes getting a little old. This is Arizona so things get uh, kind of dry rotted. But you can just kind of plug the batteries together there. Uh, now they're running series. And then uh, just some speaker wire and a little uh, electrical tape. Nothing too fancy. Put this little slip ring back in. And that's just enough to keep those little batteries stuck in there in the compartment without falling out. And now that they're connected, we can hear, when we push the button, we can hear the solenoid clicking off. So, the way we would work this is we would, well, for this one, we use it around the house a lot, too. We would connect a quick connect to this, let the air compressor fill this until this reads 100, or sometimes we'll use a different gauge that can give us, you know, the full 300 pounds or whatever. And then uh, once we've got this bottom full, we can disconnect it. Now it's totally portable. And we load the barrel up with all kinds of fun stuff. My favorite thing to fill it with is just plain water. When we have this size tube for the barrel, it can hold like a gallon of water. And there's enough air pressure here to throw that gallon of water up over from the front yard into the backyard, up over a house. And that's a lot of fun when everybody's out having a picnic or something. All of a sudden, a gallon of water just comes out of nowhere. They don't make a heck of a lot of noise when they shoot. Uh, sometimes I'll just fill this with dog food and shoot it out into the backyard and the dog has a blast running around the backyard picking up dog food for hours. Uh, there's really no end to the things you can launch with it. Uh, it's real easy to carry around. It doesn't weigh too much. Uh, at 100 PSI, um, it's not going to shoot so far or shoot so hard that it's going to really hurt anybody. But it is a heck of a lot of fun. And just filling it up with water, it's like the ultimate super soaker for the kids. So like I say, we're going to be building one, not quite this design, one of our more tested designs. This one was sort of a hybrid, trying to dumb it down a little bit. We're going to build a 300 PSI version over on the gear channel. Uh, actually, it's about half filmed now. They're just waiting for the glue to dry. 
and we'll film the rest. So uh, if you're interested in an air cannon, have some fun this summer. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.